thank you for joining me. I'm just standing on the level crossing at Wyndham Abbey Station on the Midland Foot Railway. There's no trains running today because it is a weekday in December, so I wasn't expecting to see any trains, but I just thought I'd show you their station, which you can see just beyond there. It's a pleasant little station. It's their terminus for the trains from Deerham. And you may have seen I did another video at the other Wyndham station on the main line, which is also very traditional and a bit like a heritage railway station. Well, if you followed the railway just that way and round the corner, you'd come to that station. And I believe the plan is for the Mid Norfolk Railway to build a, another station called Wyndham Junction, which will be much closer. So it'll be three quarters of a mile, half a mile round the corner that way to make interchange a bit easier. But this is their current station which serves Wyndham Abbey or it serves Wyndham, but it's near Wyndham Abbey and it's just called Wyndham Abbey. You can see there there's some they're building a signal box here so there's developments that are in progress and um, you'll also notice it's just single track here so when a loco halt train comes it has to go across this crossing to the passing loop just up there. So now I'm just going to go for a little walk and we're going to go and have a look at Wyndham Abbey. So there's their signal box I said under construction. So we're going to leave the Mid Norfolk Railway behind. Of course, I do intend to come back here maybe next year when they're running trains, but until then, this is what we're doing today. Keep an eye out, I'm sure we'll see some videos next year. There's a nature reserve, that looks like quite a nice path. I might go and have a look around there afterwards. I'm just coming to the bridge across. I think it's pronounced River Tithley. Is this car going to drive across here? I'm just going to wait for this car to drive across so I can show you the river and walk from side to side. It's not a very particularly big river, but you know, it's quite pleasant having it flowing through your town. And there's a bit of a waterfall or weir on this side, as you can see. I'm just going to walk out to Windham Abbey. That's interesting, there's an old Mitsubishi or a J Reds Mitsubishi, the sort of car you, know, you don't see much of anymore, they easily get forgotten. I'm trying to what mark what make that is, I haven't seen one for a long time. You don't see many of these about, I wonder how many there are left on the road. Oh Mitsubishi Colt, of course, yeah, how could I forget? But you don't seem to see them anymore. At one point they were a car that you always saw. Um, and you didn't really think anything of them now, they're starting to become a bit rarer. So I'm just going to walk up the road now, up towards Wyndham Abbey. You'll soon see it as I've just been for a walk along the river valley and all the way as I walked along, looming above me were the twin towers of the Abbey, which we're just about to see. Oh, well, there's one of them. As you can see, it's, it's very big and tall. I'm not quite sure how if anyone wants to tell me how many feet tall these towers are, then please feel free to comment and tell me that, and um, be interested to know. So the one we're coming up to now, this is the slightly newer one of the two. I believe this one's possibly a hundred or so years newer than the other tower. And because it's an abbey, as um, you probably know, it suffered from the dissolution of the monasteries like most abbeys, so walk on this side so you get the view. You can see both towers now. So the surviving this half, this is what was known as the People's Church, and it was the monks' half that is no longer with us, or part of it is but in ruins. Uh, it looks as though there's a funeral on, so I won't take you inside, but I will show you around the outside of the church. or the mid Norfolk Railway is running, you get on the train at Deerham. As you can see, it's literally a few minutes walk up the road. So if you came on the train to Deerham, you could come see the Abbey. Here's the huge tower. Instead of to go the arch to strengthen it. It's very windy and cold as well. I've picked two on the coldest days of the year to do this. But it's um, not very sunny, so... Not be able to hear me, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
can't overly see me now, but this, this here, this is a hard lot. This was put in in the 1800s, I believe, when they wanted to have this meadow and they wanted to enhance the view by having animals grazing, but of course they didn't want them coming into the churchyard, so there's, a bit, there's some fragmentary remains in there. What I'll do now, I'll take you around here. And, um, this is the chapter house. Or what's left of it, this arch. This is where the abbot and his monks, they held a meeting when they knew the dissolution of the monasteries was coming. They just decided to quietly surrender the abbey to Henry VIII. And I believe most of the monks quickly found other jobs. And the chief abbot, I think, became the vicar of the parish church. You, tells you a bit about it. So, so you know the other tower, the further away one, that was built in 1446, and this one here, the taller one, was built in, or the shorter one rather, was built in 1380. And now I'm just going to take you into the monks. extra extension to the abbey which now houses a very nice cafe and in that arch there there's a room which has some artifacts so I'm now standing in the monks church as you can see there's a few just imagine where the arches would have been and one last thing I must show you is you can actually go underneath the tower if you go in the abbey you can actually walk through on the other side of this fence which I'd really recommend doing but I don't want to disturb the funeral, I'm going to show you from here. Well, if I poke my phone through there, you get a better view. You can see right up, up the tower. So, before I stop the video, I want to show you the, the view of the abbey from a distance, because it really is possibly one of the nicest views of a church or abbey I've come across. And this is going to mean down this hall so there we go that was me leaping down the hall I'm going to go out into the meadow and I'm going to finish the video out here as well to show you the amazing view of the Abbey Church so as I said about fragmentary remains there's just this little bit here in the meadow as you can see just there so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and um if you come on the mid norfolk railway then come on the train and see the abbey or if you're just visiting go and have a ride on the mid norfolk railway so thank you very much for watching and i'll leave you with the view of the abbey goodbye